Researchers from the Orthopedic Specialty Hospital, or TOSH, have found vitamin D can help muscles recover faster after intense exercise. It may even help prevent muscle damage. Tyler Barker is a researcher at TOSH. He joins us now live. So tell us about this local study, vitamin D. How does it help muscle recovery? Well, that's the big question. You know, so we know vitamin D is an essential vitamin that we need. Your body synthesize it on its own uh -huh. so today would have been a great day with the temperature going outside peak sun getting some, some sunlight to help your body produce vitamin D you know but put some sunscreen on um, but also you know through diet and supplements now yeah. how does vitamin D influence recovery that's the big question right. we found the vitamin D levels if you had better vitamin D levels improve strength recovery after acute exercise um, but the actual cellular and molecular mechanisms uh, await future research but it's really exciting because one way we look at recovery is muscle strength mm -hmm. and there's been plenty of studies demonstrating that vitamin D is very important for muscle strength as well as preventing falls mm -hmm. in older people okay and we were talking about uh, muscle damage and weakness vitamin mm -hmm. D can help with that too yes so uh, in humans one of the best way to assess muscle damage is how strong a muscle is so uh -huh. during muscle damage your muscle becomes weaker um, and if you have better vitamin D levels, it can help attenuate that decrease um, in muscle strength and improve. And so we were just talking about getting out in the sun and that kind of thing. But a lot of people don't even know exactly what vitamin D is. What is it? Well, it, it's a vitamin. It's a fat-soluble micronutrient. Um, and you can obtain it a lot of different ways. We mentioned the sun. You can also get it in your diet. You can also get it through supplementation. Mm -hmm. um, so but in your diet, it's really hard, if not... Um, impossible to get enough vitamin D in your diet. Okay. And right now that's a really hot area of uh, debate within the research and clinical communities is how much vitamin D do we need. Mm -hmm. Some people recommend you know 600 IU, some people recommend anywhere from like a thousand to two thousand and it's really interesting when you look back at evolutionary physiology and when we were hunters and gatherers we were actually synthesizing about 8,000 to 12,000 IUs per day. Wow. So even what's being recommended right now is significantly less. Mm -hmm. So it, it's an interesting area. And so let's break these numbers down, 600 IU and mm -hmm. things like that. A lot of people sitting at home might not understand that. Would that be a glass of milk? Would that be a supplement? Mm -hmm. Would that be 30 minutes outdoors? What would you say? Oh, th those are all very good questions. So <laughs> to, to kind of address them, so 600 IUs, you're looking at two or three glasses of milk per day. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you go out in the sun uh, for the first 15 minutes or so without any sunscreen on, your body's going to synthesize, synthesize uh, a couple thousand IUs naturally, if not more, possibly 10,000 IUs. Okay. Uh, midday sun during the summer. Um, now, supplementation, you're your typical multivitamin is going to have about 400 IUs. Uh -huh. So, but you can buy an individual vitamin D supplement where they're going to range anywhere from 400 IUs um, up to 50,000 IUs. Oh, and there's wow. also a lot of different vitamin Ds out there, different forms of vitamin D. There's D2 uh, and also D3. And the form that you typically find over the counter is D3. Okay, and these weekend warriors that get out and do stuff throughout the weekend, this is gonna be great for them. It, it could have a significant impact on their recovery. You know, and this is a great time of the year. You see all the the four or five Ks and all the running going on right now. Mm -hmm. And you know, some people are trained and they go and they run that race and they could be a little bit sore. And you know, how could they minimize the length uh, of that soreness or weakness? Maybe it's vitamin D. Okay, excellent. So uh, research has already been done highlighting the number of authorities, including mm -hmm. uh, Vitamin D Council. They're yeah. already kind of taking this in. Mm -hmm. You guys still have more research yep. to do, though, right? Yep, so we have several other studies going on right now with vitamin D, uh, again, looking at supplementation, muscle damage, uh, and also in different populations, such as individuals with knee osteoarthritis, mm -hmm. and seeing how beneficial is vitamin D. Excellent. All right, Tyler, thank you yeah, so much for joining you. us today. And uh, it would have been a great day to get out and get some vitamin D outside today because, man, was it hot. As we take a live look out.